Yeah, yo, 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 everybody, man, it's your man, it's your boy, it's your nephew, it's your uncle, it's your cousin, it's your brother, it's your man, Big E, man, whatever, and now you reptiles, man, coming at y'all with the update on some females, man, and we deep into the heart of breathing season, I mean, deep into the heart of breathing season, so what better way to show y'all some updates on what's going on in our breeding season over here at Everyday Night Be Reptiles, but to take you and dive deep on in to look at these females. Ebony and Ivory Reptiles. So let's let's turn our attention to the 5540. So everybody with the blue tab is breeding or potentially breeding. I'll show you guys the way I got mine set up. So my males stay at the bottom. Every male has a green tab and also a color attached to them. So you'll see over here, we got a male assigned with the blue, the yellow, and this male, uh, he doesn't have a color yet because he's brand new, so I gotta get another color for him, but that's my ultra male um, male. But you see the white, the red, and this male over here is the two blues. But every male has a green tab, so when they're being paired up, the green tab goes with them. Like we have a breeding over here with the Desert Ghost NG, or NG Fire, sorry, NG Fire, does a ghost male being bred to this girl here? Who is my vanilla? Super vanilla girl, so they're locked up right now. So I'll be very quiet, but they are locked up. So she's a super vanilla being bred to uh, my uh, Inchy Fire Does a Ghost Pet Clown male. And then over here we have another breeding going on. So the green tab goes with the male, and the blue tab just represents that that's what male that uh, she's going to. So like down there, the spot nose clown male, he is the blue tab. So everywhere that there's a blue tab, those females belong to him for the season. Or at least that's what the plan is. So this is their fourth lock, um, and she is swollen up. She's like, they started breeding, she was at 1,500 grams or 1,600 grams. She's well over 2,000 grams though now. Watch how big she is. So there they are with the lock currently going on. That's a spot nose clown male to a inchy asphalt or yellow belly head clown female. So hoping that she proves out to be asphalt. Also, the other parent we have going on right now. So we have the green tab up there as well. So that means there's a male in there with one of the females. And this female is yellow, and the yellow male is down here. And that would be the acid banana pinstripe male. So his female will be with him, or that's his female right here. So that indicates that that female belongs to him. And he's currently in there with her. And I also put the breeding uh, thing up there on the top, so just so I know what's going on. But I believe they are locked as well. So let's take a quiet look. They are currently locked up as well. Big leopard clown female paired up with the banana acid pinstripe male. So those are the ones that are paired up. For so, right those are, so those are the ones that are currently locked up right now, but we do have some other females that I just want to show you, give you some updates on because they're done breeding um, and they have pretty much gone through the whole process of building, all that kind of stuff, bull wrapping, and now they're getting set to lay some eggs here soon and some pre lay sheds, and so we're super excited over here. So let's take a look at those females. All right, so up first, we got a red tab on the females. So that was the, she is the banana, orange dream, yellow belly, inchy, het pied, pos het, ghost female. 2019 female, she was bred uh, five times. On the last time, February 8th, uh, 31 millimeter follicle, so I stopped breeding her after that. Uh, and she, uh, she's she gone off food, but um, she was being bred to the orange dream yellow belly uh, fire pied male, but you can see her. She's nesting, getting ready. You can already see that ridge over here on the side. Um, I don't know if I missed her ovulation or what, but when I pick her up, you can definitely see that there's eggs in there. Um, so I think I might've missed her ovulation. Um, or her, or her shed, she ovulated and then shed. And I thought it was a pre lay shed, but I believe it was just the ovulation or the pre-ovulation shed. 
And so now I'm just waiting for her to give me a shed because she's going in the shed and I think she'll be giving us some babies here soon. You can see the crinkling behind her neck because she is going in the shed. Um, so hopefully she'll be giving us here some babies here soon. The next female that we got is our big head clown girl down here. Uh, she's got the two blue tabs. So she was bred down there to that male, Cypress head clown male to the head clown female. This is my only head to head pairing this year without another visual on top of it, or visual recessive or anything. So you see how big she is. She is looking very uncomfortable. Way to pull it open and she's uncomfortable looking like that. So she did her, uh, she actually uh, went in the blue just a few, what? But uh, she should be shedding out any day. She went in the blue um, and grayed up on me. Eyes went all foggy, everything. So she should be giving us her, her pre-lay shed here soon. The other female we have really close to giving us a pre-lay shed is this female down here. Where is she at? Uh, yeah, so she doesn't have her name tab on her. But she went to the white tab, which is our male down there. That's our entry fire desert ghost male. Uh, head, po uh, head clown, possible head ghost male. He went to this big inchy pie female who is back here looking uncomfortable as well. All folded up and over and just big and beautiful. Gotta love them big girls. Big girl, won't you back it up? Uh -huh. Won't you back it up? You know what I'm saying? So he's going to her. Um, who else has been breeding here? Um, so, I, I, I heard that, you know, when you have a female, she's about 1,200 grams and she's, you know, not eating or whatever. Try pairing her up, see if she'll go back on food. This female right here has been smashing food. My pod female, uh, she was 1,100 grams and just refused to, like, consistently eat for, like, three months. Paired her up. She has eaten every week for the last month and a half and has been stacking on weight. So who knows, she just might be a really small female that'll end up going for us. Um, but that's my pied female. Uh, who else has been breeding? Oh, we have this female down here who she has pretty much, she's pretty much done as well. She had three latches at 35 millimeters when I, um, when I uh, checked her out, when was this? Uh, January. In January, she had 35 millimeter follicles. So she grew her follicles really, really fast, um, but she also eats like a dog or was eating like a dog, but she's been off food. So I'm just waiting for her to go into her prelay. She is supposed to be a het pied female that we got. Um, this is the one that delivered us our very first clutch, but when we got her, she was already pregnant. So um, that's how we got her clutch, but she was bred to the orange dream yellow belly fire pied male. So hopefully we'll get some visuals out of that and prove her out. Um, that is pretty much it on who's breeding right now that I really want to show you guys because I'll give you guys some updates on the parents that we've been having later on. All right, family. So that's it, man. It's your man. It's your boy, Big E-Man. So that's an update on our parents and the breeding season and how it's going. The females that we got building, the females that we got that's about to give us, drop some eggs here soon. All that kind of stuff. Remember, once again, support USR. Man, I might wear this shirt every video if I need to. Make sure y'all support USR. I'm a bronze member right now. Hopefully I can bump up to a silver member. I'm just trying to do my part, man. Every little donation that you can give helps out, whether it be $5, whether it be 40 bucks, whatever you can give, man. Make sure you're donating um, to USR because that, that's the only reason we can stay alive in this business. But man, uh, that's pretty much it on this update of the females and what's going on. Look forward to the next video, pushing it out to y'all. Y'all have a good one. Ebony and Ivory Reptiles.